Hello, my dear students, how are you? I hope you are doing well and you are ready to start a new week. Um, a couple of weeks ago, one of our uh, partners in school, one of our students, uh, requested this song. I came across uh, that same song and I started to liking it very much. I really enjoyed it. Somewhere Beyond the Sea by Robbie Williams. And it is the theme song for the movie Nemo. So I hope you like it. This is a jazz, jazz song, but the rhythm is so contagious. It's like a swing. You want to dance with it. And I hope you really like it and you really enjoy it. Okay, we are going to start right away with the words. The lyrics for the song is somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere she's waiting for me. My love stands on golden sands and washes the ships that go sailing. Okay. One more time, this time I'm going to say it really slow and give you time to repeat, okay? Somewhere beyond the sea. Somewhere she's waiting for me. My love stands on golden sands and watches the sheep that go sailing. Watches the sheep that go sailing, okay? Now, somewhere, uh, remember we have studied these kinds, this kind of words, uh, somewhere, anywhere, uh, whatever, all those words have different meanings. In this case, somewhere, en algún lugar, anywhere, en cualquier lugar, everywhere, en todos los lugares. Somewhere is en algún lugar. Somewhere beyond, beyond. Beyond is a preposition that means más allá. En algún lugar más allá del mar. Somewhere she's waiting for me. Ella está esperando por mí. Nosotros no lo traduciríamos así, literalmente es lo que dice, pero recuerden, interpretación, ella me está esperando. She's waiting for me. En inglés, wait for es esperar a alguien, ¿ok? Eh, por ejemplo, si estoy esperando que el doctor me atienda y me llaman por teléfono, hey, where are you? I'm at the doctor's office. I'm waiting for my appointment. I'm waiting for my appointment. Estoy esperando por mi cita o estoy esperando mi cita con el doctor. ¿De acuerdo? O, oh, what are you waiting for? ¿Qué esperas? What are you waiting for? ¿Qué estás esperando? ¿Ok? Entonces, for es parte de wait para esperar. ¿De acuerdo? Muy bien. Luego, la que sigue. My love stands on golden sands. Mi amor está de pie o está parada en arenas de oro, arenas doradas, golden sands, arenas doradas. Y díganme si no a cierta hora del día, cuando el sol pega directamente en la arena, cómo se ven como si fueran de oro, preciosas, ¿verdad? Entonces, en algún lugar, más allá del mar, en algún lugar, ella está esperándome. Mi amor está de pie en las arenas doradas. ¿Ok? And watches the ships that go sailing. Y mira, mira los barcos que van navegando. Y mira los barcos que van navegando. ¿Ok? Ella me está esperando. Entonces, por eso... Es muy bonita esta canción. Ahorita vamos a hablar un poco más de ella. Luego dice, Somewhere beyond the sea, she's there, watching for me. 
somewhere beyond the sea, she is there watching for me. If I could fly like birds on high, then straight to her arms, I'll go sailing. Esta es la siguiente estrofa. Voy a decirla un poco más despacio y con espacios para que ustedes la repitan. Somewhere beyond the sea. She's there watching for me. If I could fly like a bird, perdón, if I could fly like birds on high, if I could fly like birds on high, then straight to her arms, I'll go sailing, I'll go sailing. Somewhere beyond the sea, es la misma que vimos arriba, en algún lugar más allá del mar. She's there watching for me. Y fíjense que arriba decía waiting for me, esperándome. Bueno, watch for también quiere decir esperar. Watch es mirar nada más. Pero cuando dices watching for es que estás esperando, pero con la vista, estás esperando que llegue, te asomas para ver si ya está en camino. Hay una parábola en la Biblia muy bonita del hijo pródigo, donde el papá sale todos los días a esperar a su hijo. Así que he's watching for his son, ¿ok? Watch for, es esperar, pero pendiente, ¿ok? Entonces, en algún lugar más allá del mar, ella está esperándome otra vez si yo pudiera volar como los pájaros en la altura on high then straight to her arms entonces derechito a sus brazos yo iría navegando sailing yo iría navegando sailing ok aunque aquí dice yo iré Navegando, recuerden que para nosotros se oye mejor decía yo iría, pero literalmente es then straight to her arms I'll go sailing. Entonces derechito a sus brazos yo iré navegando. Muy bien, vamos a lo que sigue. Dice it's far beyond the sea. Perdón, it's far beyond the stars. It's near beyond the moon. I know. Beyond the doubt, my heart will lead me there soon. Esta última parte, una vez más, despacito para que lo repitan. It's far beyond the stars. It's near beyond the moon. I know beyond the doubt, my heart will lead me there soon. ¿Ok? Muy bien. Dice, it's far beyond the stars. Ya supimos que quiere decir beyond. Es lejos más allá de las estrellas. It's near beyond the moon. Está cerca más allá de la luna. I know beyond the doubt. Y yo sé, más allá de cualquier duda o más allá de la duda, my heart will lead me there soon. Mi corazón me guiará allá pronto. Will lead me there soon. ¿Ok? Y viene un poquito de del coro que no me cupo ahí. Lo vamos a poner acá. Dice, we'll meet beyond the shore. Nos encontraremos más allá de la playa. We'll kiss just like before. Mm. Nos besaremos igualito que antes, just like, justo igual o justo como antes. Recuerden que like es como, justo como antes, just like, igualito que antes, ¿ok? Happy will be beyond the sea. Felices seremos más allá del mar. And never again. I'll go sailing. Y nunca más, otra vez, 
me iré navegando. I know beyond a doubt my heart will lead me there soon. Termina con la misma frase que terminó la anterior. Dice, sé, sé, más allá de la duda, que mi corazón me guiará allá pronto. La voy a repetir para que ustedes repitan, ¿de acuerdo? Dice, we'll meet beyond the shore. We'll kiss just like before. Happy we'll be beyond the sea. And never again I'll go sailing. I know beyond a doubt my heart will lead me there soon. Okay? Very good. Now, now we know all about the song. We know that the song, uh, what is the meaning of it? Now, let me tell you some facts about this song. Let me move this a little bit. Sorry if I get you dizzy, okay? Now, the melody is from La Mer, Le, La Mer by Charles Trenet. Uh, this is a, from France, a French song, okay? Now, well, this song was written as an ode, as a, as a poem for La Mer, para el mar, for the sea, okay? But Jack Lawrence in the United States Change, use the melody and change the lyrics to make it a love song. That's why it's made a love song. It's very pretty. Somewhere beyond the sea, she's waiting for me. Somewhere, she's watching for me. Somewhere. And then we'll meet beyond the sea. We'll kiss just like before. It is a very lovely, lovely love song. And the music is wonderful. Somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere she's waiting for me. My love stands on golden sands. It's so beautiful. I hope you like it and you enjoy it. And especially you practice with it. Okay, so please have a wonderful week and study hard. Uh, one of my students told me that he has, he is so enthusiastic about in learning English that he has already started learning French. And I want to recommend you a very good channel uh, for English, I'm sorry, for French. Clases de Francés con la Abuela. She is such a wonderful teacher. We are about the same age, and she is better than me because she uses technology. She is very good. So please check her channel and start learning French, okay? See you soon. Bye-bye.